I think one of the most difficult parts about being captain is knowing every day that you show up to work, that you're responsible for three to four individuals, and your job is to get them home safe to their families. It was my favorite position that I've ever worked at District 6, but it's also the first time you step out from being buddy and you become the boss. So you start to learn how to supervise on the scene rather than use the tools. And it's a hard transition, but it's one of the most rewarding. So today we have the honor of promoting Blake Bartak to captain. Blake is one of three captains that will be promoted on March 1st. It's a huge responsibility that we don't expect anyone to take lightly, and I know you won't. And we're excited to have you be promoted to captain at Clark County Fire District 6. We're doing the badge pinning a little different today because of COVID, but Blake's family is here with us today to help recognize his achievement as captain. So, Bo, I'll let you give your dad his helmet. That's the captain's helmet, Thanks, and it's red. So everyone on the fire scene will know that your dad is Captain Bartak. Mm -hmm. And Brighton, do you want to give the color brass? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you give well, Bo has oh. the badge. The badge has two bugles, which represents the rank of captain. I'm honored and humbled by this opportunity. And I uh, want to thank my family and brothers and sisters here at Fire District mm -hmm. 6 for this opportunity. And I look forward to serving our community. And Brighton has the collar brass, which are two bars that represent the rank of captain. Thanks, Bright. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Congratulations, Captain Bartak. Yeah, thank you very much, Chief. We're here today to um, promote Jordan Scott to captain. And your family's here today, and we're going to present the stuff that you need to be a captain. So first thing that you'll get as a captain is a red helmet. That will signify on the fire ground that you're the captain and you're in charge of the engine company. So if you want to give your dad his helmet. <laughs> and next you have um, collar brass. So it's two bars that you'll wear on your collar that signify the rank of captain. And you guys can hand those to dad or you can hold on to them. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and last you have a badge that has the rank of captain on there. Thank you for this opportunity. I want to give special thanks to my wife for always supporting me and my family. And thank you to all of my District 6 family as well and those that have helped me here along the way over the years. I hope that I can make you guys proud and I look forward to serving you and the community. Thank you for this opportunity. Congratulations, Jordan. Thank you. <laughs> So we are here today to swear Rich Rennie into the position of captain. Um, Rich's family is here today to help us with the swearing in process. So now your dad will be wearing a red helmet and that signifies that he's the person in charge of that company on the fire scene. The next is the collar brass. And those are two bars that signify the rank of captain. So you'll wear those on your uniform every day okay. starting Monday. And the last thing is um, the badge. So Susie will pin the badge on you. Well, first and foremost, I'd like to thank uh, my family. Um, there's been a lot of time and energy uh, put into this process. Uh, couldn't have done it without them. And uh, the members um, of Clark County Fire District 6. I'm honored and uh, very excited for Monday. Can't wait. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Captain Rich Rennie. Thank you.